Alright, so I went to clean out the field today. Um, try to take up everything that had flowered and everything that had went to seed. And I pulled this one off. Um, then as you can see, most of them have dried. Well, basically all of them have dried. Um, got a couple that aren't dry, dry. But I really didn't want to save seed this time. I just kind of wanted to know what it actually looked like, what it did. Um, so that when I did get low on seeds, I would know um, what to do. And so I crumbled up a couple. And there are a few seeds there. This is magnified to a 4.0. So as you can imagine, they are small seeds. Um, and this came off of the rutabaga or turnip plant. Um, if you watch my video when I planted them, I didn't have anything labeled. So it was either a rutabaga or, or, or a turnip. Um, but I have enough seeds, so I'm not going to you know, worry about keeping these seeds. I don't know whether or not the whole plant is supposed to be brown or it's just the seed pods. Um, so like I said I was just trying to you know figure out as you can see I just popped that one open and it's got all those little seeds inside and do remember that seed pods are double sided so um you might pull off one side and it actually as you see that's one side there and that side didn't have anything in it it was already partially opened up and you see there's a little piece in between the two and there's the other side there and those are the seeds that are on the other side. So, it's a really good thing to know um, in the event that you do run out of seeds to keep from having to buy. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep from having to buy seeds from the store or wherever you get your seeds from. Just let one of your plants go to seed. And um, it'll be a start of having seeds for the rest of your life, really. If you let one plant go to seed every year, you'll have enough seeds um, to last for a really long time and to give to other people, you know. So, just letting you all know, these are the seed pods that... Uh, contain the seeds let one plant go to seed um, just so that you don't have any you know problems with cross pollination or something I, I don't know but um, let one plant go to seed and then once the pods dry dry then just pop them open and collect the seeds that's inside all right thanks for watching hope this was informative I'm not an expert you know, I'm just learning as I go and sharing the little bit of information that I learned. So, have a good day, everybody.